I'm absolutely thrilled to be back and playing this game. Guys, I'm sorry, I wanted to do Kingdom Hearts, but Liam insists on playing Hades. Look, Look we've been doing Kingdom Hearts for a while, and it's time we went back to Hades for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, this is only our fifth part, so. Yeah, yeah so, so we, we gotta, gotta go, go back. back. Yeah, you're right. Besides, after this, we, after we beat this game against Sonic Frontiers. Wait, so I have to beat this in order to get the Sonic? Yep, because we do free games. Damn. Hopefully yep. we beat all of these games around the same time. Probably, probably not. not. Something tells me that we're going to beat Ark of Night first. Yeah, probably. Anyway, welcome back, back to Hades. Hades. Last yeah, time, though, you got your attempt escape. escape. <laughs> <laughs> your, the key word there is attempt. <laughs> <laughs> so once I once I make it out, I'm, I'm done, right? No. Uh, you told me that once I make it out, that I'm finished. No. I said you're. I said you're done the first run. Uh, so check the display case. Wait, where? Right there. Cause now. So basically, if you give the uh, the nectar to the Olympian gods, they give you they give you boons that, when equipped, to let you always have them during your run. Really? So say you want to start with like say Zeus, you can always have Zeus as your first boon you get. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. By the way, I didn't tell you yet, but uh, Zagreus and Skelly are voiced by the same person. Really? Uh huh. Well, like, if you actually listen to their voice, they are different. Well, they're different enough you can't really tell the difference unless you really looked it up. Also, the same voice guy, also this guy who voiced Sagaris and Skelly also did the music for this game. Really? Uh-huh. Hmm. Darren Corbin, man. Death Wait, what? What the hell's this? There's little intervals that, like, there are little intervals that we get uh, passed. Hi, Ares. That means so now when you do the uh, shield throw, you're gonna flick the uh, status effect doom, which does set damage after a certain amount, after a certain number of seconds. Oh wow! Yeah, it's pretty good as a uh, as a um, as a as a status effect. The problem is it doesn't, it doesn't give any more extra power to your attack, unlike other ones. So it's just relying based off the uh, doom damage. I mean, it's I mean it's pretty useful. Yeah. Then again, these are like weak enemies, so. You know what? I think you are. I think you are just a hater. Perhaps I am. No, you definitely are. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna pull out my overly sized cookie bag right now and start eating. So, so guys, it's a box. It's not a bag. Liam does not eat bags of cookies. I'm just trying to make a joke. It would be irresponsible of us to let him eat bags of uh, cookies. Mm -hmm. All right, Liam. Question for you, mm -hmm. since this is kind of like a podcast thing. Do you like Norse mythology better, or do you like Greek better? Eh, I like them both equally for different reasons. You like them both equally? Uh, okay. Why though? I don't know. Greek probably has like has some of the better stories, but Norse definitely has more. I feel like Norse is more like wild. Uh huh. And all okay, okay, maybe we shouldn't say that about Greek, because Greek literally has people fucking each other all the time. <laughs> yeah, but Norse has Thor, you know? Yeah, but that's like the only god. Besides him and Loki, name one more god from uh, from Norse mythology. Odin. Name ten. I can't. Can you? Um, Neptune. No. Okay, Loki, Thor, Odin, Neptune. Um... Got me there. <laughs> what about how many Greek gods can 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 you name? Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, Aphrodite, Athena, Ares, Artemis, Apollo, Demeter. Who the hell is Demeter? Uh, goddess of uh, nature. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And the daughter and and, and the uh, mother of Persephone. Really? Yeah. 
keep put that uh, put that as a note for now. So, is this based on Greek or Norse? This is based off Greek. Okay. Otherwise, use otherwise Poseidon would call Neptune. Oh, really? Uh huh. So, ne so Neptune is is in both Norse and also and also he's in. We just swap names, pretty much. Okay, but like Odin, Zeus, obviously. It's the same god? No. They have different stories, but different mythologies. Okay. But they're technically the same character. It's kind of complicated. That so kind of like multiverses and like you know DC and like Marvel. Mm. Kind of like that. More like different interpretations of the characters. Is there any truth to any of the mythologies? Um. Do it's more or less explanations for why certain things happen and why, like why certain things happen, like the whole Hades kidnapping uh, Persephone. Yeah. Thing that's the reason why winter happens. Right. Keep I've that as a note. <laughs> I've heard that. But Hades is a Hades is the uh, probably the most stable god out of all of them. But he's also the god of death, right? Mm -hmm. Look, I'm not gonna say Hades was like a. Looks like an angel, but oh, speaking of uh, angels, there's Aphrodite. <laughs> I mean, he's Who's the exact opposite of an angel. I mean, he's pretty. I mean, he's pretty bad in this game. Well, <laughs> oh, new one. Oh, so you like mirrors? No. All those little, all those little uh, crystals. Basically, it's gonna reflect off of them as he shoots lasers. So it's going to come up full of hell in a matter of seconds if we don't take them all out. You only aim, you probably want to aim for the, oh, careful. No! Aim for the uh, big one. Because once you hit it into red, then you can just like whack it around. Careful. No! Oh, depth of fine. <gasps> yeah, remember you had that? Yeah. yeah. Don't lose it though. I'm not. Come on, come on, come on. Push through, push through. Like that's part about this set. We can just do like like four-ish runs every uh every video like two runs every video, so we can get like four runs per session. Hello, baby. I want you in my bed. How about that? Um, what should I do? Well, I, I say it's up to you, but if, remember, Heartbreak Strike is it's a, it makes your attack super strong and it looks weak. Okay, <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> Ooh, the good song's playing. You told me when I first started to play this game. That once I escaped, that was it. Well, what I was thinking we would do is that, what I was thinking we would do is that after you escaped the first time, I would take over and then we would swap off. Oh, really? Uh, that, because like, being genuinely honest, after you escape for the first time, you just gotta repeat it 10 more times and then you get the ending. Wait, what? That's how, that's the end of the game. You just gotta repeat it 10 times over. It's not really made to be like a game you're supposed to like truly beat. It's more or less a game you're su you're supposed to just keep playing again and again. Which I mean, I love this game. I love it so much. But yeah. So the true ending is actually even you have to beat the game like what like 25 times. 25 times. But to get the normal ending, if you get to beat it like around 10 times. Why are there why are there different endings to this game? Well, it's not really endings. It's just story segments that go on. You. At least you should pay attention to what you're going through when it comes to these doors, Roman. Anyway. Alright, relax. Before you make any purchases, you have 292. You can get either... You can definitely get the uh, food, and then you can get... Um, special... Looks 100 damage. Ooh. Or you can make... You didn't want any healing, Roman? Oh, Aphrodite, the goddess of simps. Uh, wait, before you do anything. Um, I would recommend... Hmm. 
I might come in empty inside, probably. Hey, that fits me. No. By the way, talk, want to talk to Charon? Ah. Uh, oh, actually, give. Do you want to give him your uh, nectar? <laughs> oh yeah. What will that do? Oh, you get a boon for it. Really? You no, you get like a keepsake. That's what they're called. Keepsakes. I forget what they're called. For a second. <laughs> Bone hourglass. Basically, it means that you get any items you get from the uh, well, from the wells of Charon, or Charon, I you say his name. They last for a lot longer. Really? Uh huh. So it has its uses. No. I use it like a lot during my early runs, but nowadays, but during later runs, that really is useful. No. Shit, got that healing, huh? <laughs> Ooh, if you can get some Mega again, Roman. I can try, <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm. I don't think that I'm going to win. Well, all you can do is keep trying. With every run, you get stronger. That is true. I am getting better each time, you mm -hmm. know. So you'll be able to get through everything without any issue. And then after I beat it, then you are going to beat it. Uh, might be in it like. 20 plus times, Roman. I've got, I've done like, okay, wait, before you go anywhere, can you say hi to Ares again, or you can get another nectar, which you can power up your already obtained boons. I see you don't like Ares that much. <laughs> um, so, so, but I'm saying, Crap. so you, so you and me are both going to be playing this game. After you beat it for the first time. After we see proof that you can beat the game, I will take over and then we can swap off. No! Speaking of, <laughs> there is no escape. You are trapped here forever in the very first area of the game. So do I hit a checkpoint when I get to the second area? No. If you die, you go all the way back to the very start. Then what the fuck is the point? You gotta learn how to get through everything. Luckily, if you like want to stop halfway through, you can. You just gotta wait for it to say everything. Really? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Hypnos. <gasps> Good boy. Good boy. Aww. Wait, is this based? J.K. Rowling based based Fluffy off of this dog, Cerberus. Yeah, it's Cerberus was in mythology as the as the uh, gatekeeper of of uh, the underworld. Really? Yeah. So basically, the gatekeeper of hell, huh? Yep. Dude's just chilling at his, at his desk. Want to switch weapons this run or no? Nope. Uh, I would just not recommend buying anything this time. All right. All righty. Run two. 
run two. Run two of, of, of this, uh, well actually run 12 technically. <laughs> so I guess this will be the the last run of this uh, part, right? Yeah. You want to speak to Skelly real quickly before you go? No. Speak to him. He's, He's a, a good, good boy. boy. That's the American way. <laughs> Can he fight back? No. He literally is just there to be a training dummy. He got paid, like what, like one coin or to sit there for all his life. <laughs> I mean, that's fucked up, but it's, but it's, it's funny. It, yeah. I mean, it's the underworld. What is he going to be doing anyway? Okay. A million dollars, right, Liam? Uh huh. But you have to last a minute <gasps> in a UFC ring. I mean, a UFC ring? Do you? Uh, you? The you, thing about that is that, like, I would most likely have to pay, like, half of that over in order to heal after a USC fight. So, <laughs> no. Best boy. <gasps> okay, now he's making me get. All right, wait, 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 before you do anything. Oh, none of the good ones. Uh, great, try and, I think greater evasion is good. Whenever you're, you are hit, you have a chance to dodge automatically, or after taking damage, you can quickly dash to recover some of your health. Move it, move it, move it. You miss your uh, doom effect, don't you? Mm -hmm. uh. It was very, very useful, but... Yeah. I'm getting it this time. You're gonna do it. I'm getting better with each run, so. Every run, you learn a little bit more, you get better a little bit more. Kinda like the theme of the game. Well, I mean, that's like the pseudo theme of the game. So, okay. A hundred, a hundred million dollars. Would you play in an NFL game? Yeah, I would do it. Yeah. You see, they're actually trying to kill me or hurt me. NFL, if I just like fail, fail horribly, they can't technically not give me the money. <laughs> All right, before you go and rush, uh, let's see. You got the hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Take a piece of advice from a Hades player. Always go for the Daedalus hammer every time. Why? Because it makes your weapons a lot stronger with different effects every time. Really? Uh-huh. And trust me, it's way more worth it than you think. You just gotta use that uh, shield for the rest of the game, aren't you? Ah! No. There you go. <laughs> Teach him what, what it's like to be on the receiving end. Oh, God! The enemies slowly approach. Can the enemies hit each other? Or? No. You can use traps against them, or use, or do the whole like sealer not sealer sealing not stone knocking thing, but you, but they can't, they, but they can never hit each other unless you deflect their shots at each other using Athena. Ooh! All right. Your special uh, can strike up to four additional foes before returning. I'll leave it up to you. You like you like that one, right? <laughs> yeah. Gemstones. I'm doing better than I was at this point in the last run. Yeah. As long as you don't use your death defiance, you're fine. <laughs> like, take my advice. If if you can get through a boss, if you get to a boss without using death defiance, then you're a gravy baby. So don't die. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to do it. Don't say it, because then you don't. Every time you say you're going to do it, you never do it. That's just not, 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 just, not just this game, but like any, anything in general. As soon as you say you're going to do it, you always fail. Do you believe in, like... Karma. Karma? Kinda. Really? 
Karma always works in mysterious ways. Liam, I never took you as a as a guy who actually like bought into the whole like karma thing. I kind of believe in that. Why? Not to get descriptive, but one day, like, I had to work more hours for my job. Oh, and it, yeah. in order to try to avoid it, I called my boss and said, Hey, can I not work more hours? And I, they misinterpreted it. I was like, Oh, you want to work more hours? <laughs> and I was like, I couldn't exactly just say no. So I said, Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, Greek mythology is known for it be called, for everyone, for, for everyone calling that hubris. I call it karma. Hub Karmanic hubris. Isn't it kind of the same thing? Exactly. Well, hubris is more defined as trying to do something and then try to do something or going too great and then falling because of that said thing mm -hmm. in the most ironic way possible. It's like Achilles' heel. Nice. The shield is so freaking useful. It's just nice to be able to hit foes from like halfway across the room, isn't it? Yeah. See? I went into the right room. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Damn. Wobba wobba. Wubble baby, wubble baby. You guys like have any kind of memories of like, of like, of like old ass songs that you know used to hit, but then like when you like you know look like back on them, they weren't as good as like you know we actually thought. Yeah. Follow me, follow me, na na na. Yeah, like I mean, we thought that that song was actually like a banner, but well, okay. Just a quick warning: if you go to if you go to. A few, not Athena, Aphrodite. If you got Aphrodite, you got to fight a boss, most likely. The boss is what made you lose your uh, Death Defiance last time, Raman. It could be the skeleton duo again. Nope, it's Doomstone. Okay, we just call him Bone Saul for now on, even though he has nothing in relation to it, because Doomstone is like the same energy as Bone Saul. Bone Saul is ready! Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you on the whole, like, songs sound better when you're a kid, and then when you actually listen to them in real time, they sound way worse. But, but then there are, like, certain songs that, like, we thought were, like, boring, but then, and, like, they're actually good as a kid. Yeah, like, um, when we were kids, I thought Queen was, like, really, really boring, but now I think that Queen's awesome, you know? Probably should focus a little bit more on this, because you don't want to use that defiance. No. Oh! Wait, music's popping. I'm dashing. Why am I not getting back health? You have to dash like immediately afterward if you want to get if you want to get the effect. Really? Yeah. It's not like I said. It wasn't really a good haul of uh, skills or boons. Later on, you can actually like reroll to get like new boons when you get when you get your options to pick from. But for now, you just gotta deal with what you get. It is what it is. Okay. Ooh. Never heard this song this far in though, because I've never taken this long as this boss. You know what? I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Like to be fair, I never really got this boss during my early runs. Really? Yeah. So I never really got this far. <laughs> I don't want to lose my death defiance. Probably just use a regular attack on the uh, big one. Once it reaches uh, red. Is that red? Careful though. Be careful, come on. You're right, right there, there, man. I know, I know. You're right, right there. there. Come I on, come on. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> I just want to fuck her. <laughs> Are you being dead serious, man? Yeah, bro. I don't care if he's like a thousand. 
She's hot as hell. Your special that's does more damage and Mac actually, actually that's, that's probably the best one to go, go for heartbreak for heartbreak flourish. I swear, half the boon they just made to make me like sound like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's not really that hard to. And speaking of healing, Roman, you want to get the healing? Wait, where? Fountain. Fountain. <laughs> so you play normally; those fountains would heal you like mostly to full, but because you chose hell mode, it doesn't heal you all the way. You know what? I'm sorry. Okay. Are you uh, going to- Okay, you probably- Do you want more health or do you want more money? Are you going to keep reminding me that I- That- That I chose hell mode? Exactly, I'm gonna keep doing it until the days grow old. Why? Because, Roman, I am a gamer. I- Liam, I understand. I shouldn't have- I shouldn't have- Okay, that. that being said, you are dominating these guys. Ah, Infernal Troves have come up, it seems. What are those? Basically, you can ignore. Basically, you have to fight more enemies, but you get the time limit, and the more and the better. Ooh. Basically, if you fight enemies, you just get near it. Don't touch anything. Just get near it. Near near what? The the, the glowing treasure chest. Basically, you get 50 darkness, but every second that you don't beat the enemies that spawn, it goes down. So you probably don't want to do it right now. You just want to escape. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be worth my time anyway. Oh, probably not. Not for now, at least. Man, you have just made this... You made the shield, like, insane. Best part is the shield's, like, not even, like, the best weapon in this game. It's working for me, though. Yeah. I know it's gonna be your favorite weapon as soon as you uh, unlock it, though. What is? I'm not gonna say. But let's just say, Roman, future Roman in advance, I was right. Or huh, maybe we'll just maybe we'll just stick with a shield for us the game. I might. You're gonna Captain America this bitch. <laughs> oh, but like you always think you you like the sword, then you like the bow, then you just like the shield. I like whatever weapon. Sweetie's here. Oh, hi, sweetie. Did you want to send me out for the uh, people at home? No. The one time that we one time, sweetie. The one time that we want her to meow, she doesn't. So how come some of them start with the yellow health? Basically, well, basically they get armored. It's just a random effect that some of them can have. Oh really? And whenever they armor, they can't be knocked back or flinch. That makes them a little bit more. That makes them a little bit more stronger. Is Hades actively putting this like army out there? Um. Do you know? I think he has like a place where he's like he's he basically pays them all to keep the uh, underworld protected. Does he? And in turn, make sure no one gets out of the underworld. So you could probably guess why they're after you. <laughs> so no one can get out of the underworld. Nope, it's literally the whole. Hey Zeus. <laughs> Hello. Zeus, you bitch! Uh, after taking damage, lightning reflexes, try that. Okay, before you say anything. Basically, if you dash and you avoid attack just in time, you deal, you can use, like, the foe gets hit by lightning. Really? Uh-huh. Cool. So, okay, before you do anything, we're all right, you right now. So, that's a duel. That's Bas basically, you have to pick between Zeus or Aphrodite, and depending on whichever one you pick, the other one will get pissed and and make the uh, and make the fight against the enemies a lot tougher. But you get both their boons. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> it's typically not worth it's typically not worth it unless you like have like a ton of health and death defiance is ready. Or if you like really just want like a starting build. I can get one or I can get more than one death. Uh, uh by all technicality, you can get up to three. Really? Get, get up to free normally. Uh, just like, but you can also get one from uh, giving Skelly, a, Skelly, the training dummy, uh -huh. a uh, nectar. Really? Yeah, he gives you, a, he gives you, a, he gives you a, a keepsake that gives you uh, an art of defiance. Hmm. Uh, I would go for Harpic Forge on that one. Sweet. Will I, I always? Will I lose my other boon on my shield? No, it just powers it up. Cool. 
Hi, Charon. Or the, is it Charon or Charon? Hey, I don't know. Uh, I get the healing. Okay, you're at full health. What is... Oh, God. <laughs> Aw. Ready? <laughs> Think you can do it? Yeah, you you're almost full health. You have 100 health. And you have a Death Defiance. You know what? Nah. I don't want to they have this. unique dialogue every time, but really, yeah, every time they always have unique, they always have unique dialogue. So there is, there is always a reason to listen to what they have to say. <laughs> anyway, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> how much health does she have? Um, a boss health. But like, how much health? Um, well, stop running spike traps first, but like, I'm not really sure in terms of numbers. It typically changes depending on what difficulty you're playing on. Would it be risky for me to regularly hit her? Yeah, she has a flinch. Okay. So, I would just recommend doing what you're doing now. Getting pot shots, because you are doing good amount of damage with each hit. I'm just throwing my- Oh! Okay. Dash. 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 And when she, whenever she's doing that, she is vulnerable, so you can't hit her during that time. Okay. Oh. Damn. So if I if I beat her, do I like get out of the first area? Yep. Really? She every twelve chambers you fight a boss, and then afterwards you move on to the next area. There are four areas in total. You know how it works. It's funny, I've told you like almost everything about the game, but at the same time told you absolutely nothing. <laughs> she just gonna keep throwing this shit at me. I'm already doing doing better with her than I than I yeah than I than I did the last time against her. Yeah. What? <laughs> you don't sound like you're too convinced. Well, you're only not even halfway through her health bar. You're almost there, but you're not even halfway through. Well, she's not even halfway through mine. Yeah, but she has way more health than you. <laughs> True. Liches? Wretches. What are... What are wretches? And basically everything that you've been fighting in the underworld so far. Oh, really? Besides literally just the skulls and the gemstones are all called wretches. Really? Wretched rich, wretched, uh, loud, wretched... Wretched thug, everyone's a wretch. In Hades town. <laughs> Uh, just don't get hit in the spike traps. That's literally the only thing that's taking your HP away. It literally decides whatever else is taking your HP away. <laughs> it's not the only thing. Yeah. I'll be fine, okay? Don't not worry about me. I'm doing okay. Okay! <laughs> okay! <laughs> By the way, guys, did anybody watch Phineas and Ferb? As kids, or because it's still a great show, even as a, even as an adult. Yeah, like it's surprisingly like a like at first it was just like a, I thought it was like okay, I had like a weird face. I liked it as a kid. Then as a teenager, I thought it was just like overly weird for no good reason. But like as an adult, like almost an adult, like still like a mid teen, like a late teenager, the show's like actually really funny. Yeah, and it's like there's actually some like really like decent characters too, like great characterization and everything. Okay, okay, here we go. go. Bullet hell. Uh, or I guess to call it bad hell, because it was bad with it. <laughs> Death Defiance? Yeah, you still have it. I still have it, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no! Don't tell me that she has a second phase. No. Okay. There's only one boss in this game that has a second phase. I'm gonna guess that Hades is actually one of them. Why do you think it's Hades? I just have a feeling. Why do you think, think Hades is the final boss? Because 
The game is called Hades, Liam. I mean, all of us Hades fans know the final boss is redacted. You got her! Yeah! You got the first of the three! Yeah, I can, yeah, I can know what that means until later on. And now you got some Titan blood. Well, I lost everything. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way. So, Megara and, and her sisters. Uh, for what I remember how mythology went, they were literally cut from the balls of a Titan. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. Alright, you wanna get some healing? Yeah. In here? Ah, uh, yes, the blood pit. The healing. Where Not the nice, like? oozy, normal water. Should we just end the part here? Uh, if you want to. Yeah. Guys? I just rum and dice in the first room next time. Guys, I want to end it on a high note. Please.